Nights TV is brought to you by BMW Electrical, UG Mains, Data and Comms, and Security. A rescheduled fixture, men round six, Zagami's Women's State League Two action was played midweek last Wednesday night, with the Knights hosting North Caulfield at Knights Stadium. The match would be the sternest test so far for Tony Kolchek's women, with the fourth placed North Caulfield outfit, the highest ranked side the Knights had faced this season. The club would also have a quick turnaround after this game, with the girls in red, white and blue facing the old enemy in South Melbourne on Sunday afternoon. North Caulfield playing in sky blue got the ball rolling, but it was the Knights who wasted no time in asserting their dominance, opening the scoring inside the first minute. After taking back possession, a header from skipper Lucy Bolter played the ball into a dangerous position for Bianca Craner, with the youngster coolly lobbing an effort over the Caulfield keeper. But the early goals didn't end there. In the ninth minute, Kreiner went on the attack again and doubled her and the Knights' lead with a neat finish that the Caulfield keeper struggled to keep out. A fine finish from Kreiner, who takes her season tally to four goals at this early stage of the year. Two minutes later, and the home side had another good chance, but with the ball just out of Bolter's grasp, her stretched effort was no trouble for the opposition shot stopper. A quarter of an hour played, and after some neat play with a series of two touch passes, Bolter was picked out in the box with a fine cross, but the captain agonisingly put her strike onto the post. Caulfield also had a dose of woodwork-related frustration when a good free kick in the 18th minute cannoned off the crossbar. From the subsequent throw-in, North Caulfield continued their attack on the Knights' goal, with the home defenders initially standing tall before goalkeeper Ariel Kassa was required to come off her line and smother a through ball. <laughs> 20 minutes played and Jolene Miller had her first chance on goal with a jink inside opening up space but the eventual curling effort was tracked well by the Caulfield custodian. Moments later and Miller was involved again this time playing a square ball to Bolter in the box but the finish lacked enough power with the away side scrambling to just keep the ball from crossing over the line. Just over five minutes out from half time, and Craner's speed was continuing to cause headaches for the Caulfield defenders, with the former Brunswick Juventus player securing her hat-trick inside the opening period after a finish on the follow-up of a save. That goal, which now means Kreiner has scored five goals from six games, was the last moment of note from the opening half, with the score 3-0 to the Knights. The first chance of the second period came beyond the hour mark, with a free kick from North Caulfield sailing just over the bar. Not long later, and a free kick of their own helped put the Knights through to goal but Kassar's weighted hit also sailed off target.
from the resulting goal kick. The Knights went close to their fourth, but a reflex save from the away side's goalkeeper denied Bolter from inside the box. Bolter went close seconds later to putting the game beyond doubt when a counter-attack had Caulfield on the back foot, but the skipper's long-range effort went just wide of the right post. Fifteen minutes left in the game, and a lung-busting run from Stephanie Corso saw her beat her opponents before her curling finish went just wide of the goal. Eight minutes out from full time, and North Caulfield snatched back a consolation goal when a snapshot inside the box saw the ball sail into the back of the net, despite Kassa getting her fingertips to the effort. But the two goal margin was more than enough, with the Knights running at 3-1 winners to leap to the top of the league. The Knights now take on second place side South Melbourne away on Sunday afternoon, which will surely be one of the biggest tests of the season so far. Speaking to Knights TV after the game, Patrick hero Bianca Craner said she was happy with the first half, but said there was plenty to work on from the second period. All right, Bianca, um, obviously this is the club's sixth win now. Um, a great start to the season and a hat-trick for yourself today. Um, what did you think of the game today? Um, the first half was pretty good. The second half, we just dropped everything completely, didn't play as a team. There was no unity between, you know, defence, midfield, strikers, and, yeah, that we felt that. I guess um, it's a bit different to recent games where we've sort of um, struggled in the first half and then really finished really strong. Um, can you, put, you know, put a finger on what that was today that made the difference? confidence first half I don't know because everything just started going right in the first half we scored early goals didn't really miss many and then second half it just I don't know something went wrong what do you think of um, North Caulfield today obviously um, they're probably our sternest opponents so far we've played some lower ranked teams in the competition so far um, our biggest test what do you think of them oh well they were a fairly young team so where we would tire out they just had legs to keep running and well, it worked for them in the second half. They were unlucky a few times and could have easily equalised and won, really. Um, speaking of youth, you're pretty young yourself. Um, coming into this squad new this season, um, how have you found it? Have you found moving to the new club? It's been good. It's been challenging, but I've liked being challenged. So I feel like here I, I will grow and hopefully score more hat-tricks and yeah, finish off a good season. Um, moving on to next week, big oh, not wet next week, this weekend against um, South Melbourne, um, a massive game. Um, what are your thoughts on coming up against them? We have to work hard. I think from what they've been doing, you know, I think they had a 10 or 12 nil win the other day. So it'll test us, but if we play good football like we know we can do, we'll easily be able to win.